Hey guys, welcome back. Right, I'm gonna go and get this fuel. Uh, let's um, let's turn the resources on so we can see. Now we've got a fair old amount of um, of liquid fuel and oxidizer, but we've got room for plenty more. We've we're we're about just over half full. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna put the ship into flight mode. Oh yeah. So the um, we we've closed up the communications array, right? For uh, because because. I feel like it and then we're gonna uh, change the orientation of the ship so we're gonna roll the ship over like this because what we want is to have this um, this red line pointing straight up so we're gonna turn this over like that okay All right settle down now she is a bit wobbly she's a bit of a wobbly ship but I've got to say I'm becoming quite fond of the bonehead Right, so yeah, turn it back a little bit. There, right, right. Hold steady, hold steady. There we go. Now this is going to be like flight orientation with with these up and down and this coming out to the side. Right now, <clears throat> we can uh, the the controls will kind of do actually what I want them to do. So we're going to flip the ship around be because we've got this oriented to the um, like to the north. Um, this thing actually, the, the controls are oriented as they would be like when you when you first take off on the landing pad. So it just makes makes it kind of a lot easier to to steer and point it in the right direction and stuff. Now what I'm trying to do is point directly at this thing. Now this thing is about 500 meters away. Oh, okay, she's settled down. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to go after it. <laughs> oh yeah, we're taking the mountain to Mohammed. So let's have a um, a little bit of a blast on these to get us um, headed in the right direction. Oh, you know, I am falling in love with this ship. It's crazy. I, I don't know why, but I am falling in love with this ship. It's like it's got character, you know? Right, let's take off this, um, this difference in speed. Okay, so we're, uh, we're bringing it in nice and gently. We're only, uh, like we're only like, just over 50 meters away yeah. right so we're virtually static now uh, in relation to that okay let's do um, let's do a bit of fuel switching around I think so what, what I'm gonna do we've got the, uh, the, the, the no mercy turg over here uh, I'm gonna click on now that's full of fuel so we'll alt click on our big fuel tank over here and we're gonna transfer out uh, like Probably like most of the fuel, and take it down to like maybe a hundred or something. Yeah, right. And then we transfer out the o uh, the oxidizer as well, because we only need a tiny, tiny bit just for manoeuvring. Okay. Okay. There we go. Right. Okay. So what I'm now what I'm going to attempt to do now I don't know whether this is going to work. We'll see. What I'm going to attempt to do is take the tug. Go and grab this and dock this with the station. Now I could just go over, like get the fuel. I, I'll see. I'll see how much there is. But what I was thinking of doing, because it's got two docking ports, was actually grab it and dock it to the station, unload all the fuel, and then jettison it. <laughs> I have no idea if that's going to work or not. Right. We need to turn this engine back on. So activate engine. There we go. And then uh, we'll. Zoom in a little bit and we'll now I've got to make sure that there's somebody in here who's in here at the moment uh, We need to click to find out who's in here. I actually need to click on the crew hatch Where's the crew hatch? Is this the crew hatch? There's the crew hatch. Uh, it's Melise. Melise is our tug driver. Oh, yeah Good old Melise Right Melise are you ready to uh, go and have some fun? Hell yeah, she is. Right. Let's this let's uh, undock there we go. That was very gentle. Very gentle indeed. Okay, so we need to switch to the space tug. And then we've got to go and grab this, which is going to be fun. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to orient ourselves to this, uh, to this line. All right, so oops. Man, this is so responsive after driving the, sh the main ship. Oh, good Lord. Actually, you know what? Let's have SAS on. It's a bit too responsive. There we go. Yeah, about like that. There we go. 
Right. So now, with a bit of luck, if uh, if I push the nose down, yeah, the nose actually goes down. Oh, we've got the lights on. I do love the whole lights thing. It's very cool. So we push the nose down like that, and then spin her around. It's so much easier when you've got the thing aligned correctly. Correctly. Um, okay, so we're we're just gonna head over here, try and grab this, and then we'll kind of see. We'll kind of see. So um, yeah, we'll have a little bit of a nudge forward, I think. So there we go. A little bit more. Could speed this process up a bit. And then once we're clear of the bonehead, which I think we now are, we can uh, we can point over here. So let's bring our nose up a little bit, like that. So we're pointing pretty much straight at it. A little bit more, because I want to go. I want to go up to this docking port up here, and a uh, little bit more of a push forward. There we go. Right, let's go and get ourselves some fuel, Belize. We could speed this up now. Drift over here. Here we go. And then when we're kind of in position, which uh, which which we're kind of getting close to now, uh, I want to be I want to be kind of parallel with it. We're going to flip around like this, and then we'll cancel our speed in uh, in relation to this thing. You know what? Let's, let's right click on this and set this as our target. There we go. Right. Cool. So we're getting pretty close to it now. So let's. Uh, I'm just kind of trying to time the burn correctly. Okay. There we go. Probably, probably a tiny little bit too much, but that's okay. What I'm trying to do is do as much of this with the with the main engine as possible to save RCS. So. Now let's uh, point over there a bit, and we'll have a little bit of a nudge forward. There we go. And just going to have a tiny little bit in that direction. There we go. All right. Spin this around again. Yeah, here we go. Right, now we are moving forward, but we're moving forward a little bit too slowly, so let's have a li little bit more. There we go. Okay, now I can turn RCS on, I think. Now we're going to use RCS. So, we're, well, we're coming in we're coming in pretty well. We'll move a little bit this way, I think, to get ourselves lined up. Here we go. That's looking quite good. How far away are we? That's good. That's pretty good. Okay, so... Tiny little bit more. Right, now we'll kill that lateral movement. There we go. We're still drifting in, which is good. We want to uh, point towards the target now. All right. Oh, this is... I've got to say, this is going pretty well. Let's uh, tip her around this way a little bit. Tip the nose down a tiny touch. All right, cool. So, you know what? We're going to have a little bit of a nudget forward. A little bit more. A little bit more. All right. Let's slow that lateral movement. And then just turn it around a little bit. Try and get a better angle. Oh, this is good. This is very good. Let's turn SAS off. Oh, 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 have I missed it? I've just missed it. I've just missed it. Just, just turn it around. There we go. Oh, 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 oh it's fighting with each other. Come on, guys, get a seal. Oh, come on, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got a seal. Excellent stuff. Right now, let's get this fuel sorted out. So we've got um, we've got got about half a tank of fuel. Now this is this tank is about half the size. I think we're actually just going to grab it in one go. You know, so Alt and uh, transfer out the liquid fuel 
and transfer out the oxidizer as well. Yeah, I think we're going to get pretty much all of it. Yeah, in fact, we're going to get exactly all of it. Oh, that is pretty much... Oh, well, <laughs> 26 oxidizer. Not going to worry about that. Okay, cool. In that case, we can now undock. Oops. Come on. Undock, will you? Oh, I can't get on the I can't get on the docking port here we go here we go undock cool so thank you very much lander for uh, bringing us so much fuel that's very good of you okay so we want to head back over towards the uh, the BISS now so we'll have a bit of a turn over here and oops point it down a little bit there we go did a bit of thrust. Here we go. All right, it's just a case of, uh, of of getting back to the ship now. And this is coming in pretty darn nicely, I have to say. That's pretty beautiful. I'm actually going to slow the approach a little bit. That is coming in absolutely peachy. Oh, bring it round a tiny bit. Turn off SAS. And we should have a successful dock. Oh, there she goes. We've got it. Oh, I think I'm getting the hang of this docking lark, guys. It's going to dance around a little bit while it uh, while it finds the lock, but it'll get there. It'll get there. And there we go. And now we have a, a, like a fully fueled ship. So only one thing to do now, and that's to uh, that's to swap out some of the crew. Let's see, like who the hell do we have on board? So let's have a look at the, the crew. So we got we got Jeb in here. We've got, uh, over here, uh, we've got, where's the, I wish there was an easier way of doing this than clicking on the damn crew hatches. Where's the crew hatch? Here's the crew hatch. We've got, um, uh, Catbeth, of who, of course, brought up the lander. We've got Melise in here. So that's three. Then, over here in this um, couple, we've got Bill and Valentina in here. Now, Bill is, um, Bill is an engineer. Valentina's a pilot. Then in here, we've got Bob and Raydan, who are a couple of scientists. Now, they will be going with us, the two scientists. And then in this one, who's in there? And the answer is, I think nobody, because this was this had um, the what's-it guys in it. Yeah, that's empty. See, this one, why isn't this one? Oh, here, there we go. Oh, this has got Gen Top in. So that's, see, that's another pilot. So we've got, like, what did I say? So we've got one, two, three... Four with Gen Top, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> and then is there anybody down here? Let's f if I can target the crew hatch, that's all oh right. That that's empty. So we've got eight Kerbals up here. We don't. We really don't need eight Kerbals. Um, we can probably take like a couple of pilots, an engineer, and a couple of scientists. You know, that would kind of be, like, pretty good. And maybe even, like, I mean, we could even take an extra science. But I think we're going to go with, like, a crew of five. Two pilots, an engineer, and uh, a couple of scientists. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to go with. So we need to get three Kerbals down to the service. So let's do a crew, resu a crew resupply mission. <laughs> 